Hey everybody, back in the uh, open air shop today, working on the old trailer. We went out and got some parts and pieces. Today we're going to work on getting the trailer wiring done. So let me show you where we're at on that. So I'd already kind of started piecing it together. This old trailer had a, a junction box down there. So I took it out, cleaned it up, looked like this trailer had been flooded before, cleaned her up. I've got the trailer wiring in there right now. And then I'm going to put in the uh, brake wiring here in a little bit. So right now I've got some a little bit of wire loom on. We're just going to have to start making it fit. I bought stuff to hold it to the trailer, brackets and such. And then got the wires run down to the brake lights. Yesterday I put these brackets on for the brake lights. It's 3 h angle. Uh, again, I'm not a welder, so don't look at the welds. I did grind them and weld them two or three times, so it should be good. Uh, same thing on the other side. I uh, got the tail lights on. Doesn't look like it's straight, but I didn't use a straight edge, so that's on me. So anyhow. That uh, big beam up there is going to eventually go across the tail. Sorry about moving so much. So we're going to cut it off probably right behind them tail lights, and then we're going to put the beam across there to hold her in place, and that's where we're going to be at. Hopefully by the end of the day, maybe putting some uh, deck on. That's kind of my goal. So right there where these boards are laying right now, that should be the end of the trailer when I'm done today. So lights, trailer wiring lights, um, and then cut the tail off and have that piece of iron on and the deck down. That's my goal for today. We'll see if we can make it and get her done. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay, part A is pretty well ready there. I got the driver's side of the trailer wire loom from the junction box all the way down through the frame with wire loom under the frame. thought about going through the frame but then I'd have to get some drillers out. So I got it under the frame and all the way to my new light. So, that's pretty happy. back on it here and I've got a few things done all the wiring is complete and I'll show you what you just seen a minute ago what I did it was for you about like 30 seconds for me it was a couple hours to finish all the wiring I also wired the trailer brake wires uh, some other videos you've seen I bought new trailer brakes for it so I wanted to lay out the couple pieces of lumber so I could show you what it's going to look like once I get the uh, Two batons on, so here you go. And swing around. There's a few of them. I laid three of them out here. I didn't start putting them down yet because I still got two more braces to put in, or whatever you call them things. So there's too big of a gap between here and here. So I'm going to put another beam across here. That'll give me about 30 something inches. And then back here, you can see where the end of the trailer is going to be, just past the old tail light. So that's where I'm going to cut her off. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll put a swing gate on it. I don't know. But I'm looking at it and uh, kind of thinking that as long as she is in the front, uh, she might need a three quarter ton to pull it just so she can have the. The weight, I'm going to move that toolbox back 
maybe put something else in the front so we can move the so we can move the weight back towards the axles here so we can have the right amount up on the, uh, the truck so that's what we got going on on the little two edges up there and i've got about an hour before it starts raining it's about four o'clock in the evening and that's when my work day ends so y'all have a good day i'm losing daylight anyways right in my uh, open shop y'all have a good day thanks for watching Hey everybody, it's Scott Medlock here in Missouri. Uh, gonna try to get a little more work done on the old trailer action. So today, uh, show you what we're gonna do. So down here in the back, I need to get this uh, beam cut across. I gotta cut her out and weld her on right across here, and then I'll cut the tail off. I was talking to some different folks, and they were like, you know, if you cut that out the back there, it could pinch together or come apart or do whatever that does whenever uh, we cut off and if there's tension on that. So I want to make sure that I get something in there and weld it in place before I cut the ends off. So, so far, so good. We got uh, a couple of things here. I've got one other support that I'm going to put in. Hopefully today, right there, across to the other side. So that's what I'm going to work on today. I might even get you a little action on that as I'm uh, doing some cutting and stuff. See if I can set the camera up and do that. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. Well, I would like that for you. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is some hill belly measuring here. I'm going to line this up about where I want it <coughs> on this side. You probably can't see the way the can, but anyways, on the driver's side, I'm going to make it flush. And then kind of make it look like it's kind of square. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, that where I want it? I'll make it a little further over. I can't there. What I'm going to do here is I want to uh, I want to weld this side inside the trailer frame, and then I want to have this piece here. I'm going to cut it off this piece off, and so I'm going to make this chunk out of here. So I'm just going to kind of look at kind of square. It's not the best piece of angle in the world. I'm going to draw me a line here where I'm going to cut. And then I'm going to come across where I'm going to cut at the angle in the middle there. And I'm going to bring her up just roughly like that. And I can see how I'm going to cut. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to start my first cut here. I'm going to go down and then just go ahead and cut all this off. So it's the right length. And then I'll cut this piece out, and that'll be gone. So let me get the camera, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. Sure wish I had more room in the shop here, but that's all right. All right, so what I'm doing here is... Uh, you can see where my lines are inside the frame here. This is going to go down inside the frame. Then I'm going to cut it across here and cut it down here. So then this is going to be gone here. So when I get the other side cut, then it'll just flip down in there and I'll be able to clean her up and weld her in. Uh, and everything goes right, then 
So I have the other side done. And I'll do both the sides the same. I'm going to get the grinder out and uh, I'll be right back. Alright, hopefully this thing's working. So, I think since you're there, I think I'll stand over here and see if I can grind this first bit off of here. I'll start with that. Still using this Linux grinder wheel here. Linux is not a supporter. I had to go buy this thing. I don't have any sponsored videos. Now, if this just gets too loud here, you just plug yours, all right? See what we can do here. And if it's too crazy, I'll just take it out the video and put in some music or something pretty for you. Oh, there we go. That ain't bad. Got one side down there. Well, you know the old back. Don't really like sitting there like that. I think I'll sit down a minute. Y'all don't mind if I sit down, do you? See if I can get a straight line without actually doing any damage here to myself. I'm going to try like this here. See if I can get the old back to kind of, kind of co op.
seems to work, doesn't it? So now I need to cut out this chunk here so that I can slide her in there. So I want to slide her over, make sure my where she wants me to be there. Yeah, it's not bad. Crooked it all get out. I never could cut a straight line, but I guess I can just cut her off of there. I'll just trim her up real quick and we'll just go a little bit. I don't know if I can cut now. I'm going to cut that gap off her. Yeah, let me come get you and show you what I'm talking about here because you're probably over there going, oh, what in the world is he talking about there? So, if I can give you an idea. So what I did, I cut her cricket. See what I'm saying? Cricket. So, I need to trim action that spoon dude right there. So I'll get on that. It'll be a beautiful thing. Y'all just hang on there. You good? Can you see? Alright. Well, let's see if we can just grind her off and make her square. Just think it'll be easy for me to weld if I get it square. Well, it ain't pretty, but it's better. I had me one of them band saws, even like a porter band or something. Well, that'd be great. I just put her right on there. All right, let's line her back up and see. Yeah, that's straighter, maybe. Here, I'll let you have a peek. See what's going on down here. Sorry, that's probably pretty abrupt there. Let me move a little slower. So, let's go square. It ain't pretty, but we're going to weld it and. My wells ain't pretty anyway, so. Okay, so on the other side, show you down here. This one already had kind of like a an angle in it. So I brought it over, oops, sorry about that, to where I can cut here, and then here. So that'll straighten that out. And, yeah, you know that old thing, it ain't straight, but you know it's an old trailer, so I think it'll hold though, even though it's bent. So let's get on with what we're doing here and so we can notch this bad boy out. I will keep you all along here for the trip. You know, someday a man ought to get a shed to work in or a garage or something. But till then <coughs> I'm just happy to have something to work in here. It's 43 degrees, so it ain't horribly cold out. All right, here we go. So it looks like it's pretty close right there. So I may adjust my line a little bit where I'm looking at. So I'm going to go... Just a smidge in there. I'm going to go a little closer. Uh, you know, I can always cut some more off if I need to or whatnot. So I'm just going to rip right across here. And I'm going to flip it and I'll run down that side there. So hang tight. Let's see what we can do here. There right, we go. <clears throat> She's rocking on me. It's going to be fun. All right, here we go.
my blade that's going to be a pain right. well let's get a hammer see if we can straighten that dude out otherwise i got guts to get another blade i want to pause y'all for a minute just i'll be right back all right well that took a little hammer action to straighten the old disc out but the old Lennox disc took a little beating and she kept on ticking there. So you can see we got her notched out. So now I can set her down in there and see how close I did to okay. Well, by golly, looks like it'll buff. I'll be able to weld her around the edge there and weld her down the inside. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now just to duplicate what I did there, over here, I'll have a little bit more to cut off, but I think that's so far, pretty sa satisfied with that. And I can just get my boards lined up, and slide her up on the boards, and weld her in. So I'll save you the trouble of watching me cut that one out, and I'll bring it back in just a minute. Alright guys, so I got that other side cut off here. Now I think I tell you, two by ten by sixteen are heavy. And I'm old and fat, so just bear with me here. The uh idea now is I've got it flush on that end up here. So now I'm gonna pick the board up and just slide her flush up here. And then the same over here, I'll pick her up, got her flush on that end of the trailer. So I'll just make her flush, and that'll be the top part of the back rail here. If y'all give me a minute, uh, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so it should look something like that. Yeah, I gotta cut the end of that off, I can see that. But... So that'll be the end of the trailer. Once I get that dude tacked in there, and I can cut off the rest of the trailer here. I thought about making it like a dove, but I don't know if I'll do that or not. That'd mean I have to go get some more boards or something, but... I don't know, I got some boards over there I suppose I could cut up. We'll see. I'll be back with y'all in a little bit. Alright, so... I was able to get that burnt in there. Got some heat over there and burnt that in there. All the way around three sides. So I've got to cut the end of this off. Yep, been finished burning that in. And then I've got um, one more stiffener. Put right between the tires here. Once I get that in there, I think I'm ready to drill the old deck down. So that's going to look pretty good, I think. I'm going to get around here where we can see a little better. That'll be a nice looking trailer. Okay, so I just got the centerpiece between the tires put in. See over there. I'm not going to give you close-ups because I don't weld so good, but it's on there, so we'll see. Now I'm going to lay out the boards and maybe get them screwed down. Give me a few minutes here. Alright guys, well, it's only been a second or so for all of y'all, but I got the uh, two pieces welded in that I wanted welded in, one between the axles, one on the end. And I also got the deck screwed down. Could use a few more screws in it, but when you run out, well, you make do with what you got. So, turn this camera around and show you that I got the, the deck screws in all the way across. And I got a spot on the frame here where I can weld some hold down ties and stuff like that. <clears throat> Still got a cut off the tail 
But I uh, got all excited. I wanted to go ahead and drop the wood down on it. Excuse me, that temperature dropped out here. I got me a nice deck on my trailer. Like I said, I'll get that cut off. Did a pretty decent job of getting her squared up on there. This is Walmerized lumber, so it's going to shrink. So I didn't bother like making big gaps in it. It'll shrink up. And uh, so that's what we got so far, guys. I got to do a few more things. I want to move that toolbox back on the front of the deck here. And uh, I'm going to bolt it down to the wood. And then I may grab the generator and bolt it up there on the tongue. Or weld it or whatever so people don't run off with it. And so that's where we're at. So I just appreciate everybody watching. My open garage. If you really want to do stuff, you can do stuff. Here's proof. So anyhow, that's going to be it for me for today. It's been a couple of hours. And... Uh, Thanks for watching.